Father's Day. So I know I already posted a movie review today, but I just finished watching the movie Fatherhood and I couldn't not do a review on fatherhood on Father's Day. So here we are. So happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. This comedy is now playing on Netflix and it is a lovely film that you can watch today to honor all of the wonderful things that you do in the lives of your families. So this movie is rated PG-13. It's an hour and 49 minutes. First, in a nutshell, this is a lovely dramedy and it was written by Paul Weitz. He also wrote the screenplay with Dana Stevens based on the book by Matt Logalin called Two Kisses for Maddie, A Memory of Loss and Love. So the story has a devastating premise. A father brings up his baby girl as a single dad after the unexpected death of his wife who died a day after his daughter's birth. The story is actually Matt Logalin's true story about when his wife died the very day that the baby was born. It is heartbreaking and inspiring at the same time. This is actually Columbia Pictures' very first Netflix movie. So way to go, way to start off a good trend. So let me tell you about some of the things that I really liked about the movie. First of all, Kevin Hart used to drive me completely nuts because he always played the same character in every movie, an angry, screaming little man. <laughs> And sure, he was funny, but I thought that that was all he could do. My respect for him soared immensely when I saw him really act in a movie, the one called The Upside just a few years ago. His career has now taken on another life and direction. I am so proud of him for taking on such challenging roles, and I'm impressed with how much his acting range has grown. I am a solid fan now. He gives an excellent performance in this movie, and I can't wait to see what else he can do. So this movie isn't really a comedy like you might expect since it stars Kevin Hart, but instead it's more of a drama with some comedy where you can really watch Kevin Hart stretch. That being said, there is some humor in the movie, but really this movie is all about a celebration of watching Kevin Hart become a really great actor. I also thought that the rest of the cast was solid, including Alfre Woodard, who was fantastic and lovely and just has not even aged at all since I last saw her in something. Little Ray Howery, who plays this oddball best friend who just always puts his foot in his mouth, in my opinion. And DeWanda Wise, who is just lovely, among others on the, in the cast. Melody Hurd is completely adorable as young Matt and she's starting to show up in quite a few films, especially on Netflix lately, and does a really great job. She's got a bright future in acting ahead of her if that's what she wants. There are some cliched moments in the movie, but they're still very heartfelt. There are a lot of touching moments. If you don't mind some of the manipulative cheesy ones, you'll probably shed a tear or two. Now, there were some things that I thought could have been done better. For example, the film doesn't really dive very deep into all of the nuances of fatherhood, but it absolutely shows, it shows the essence of what it means to be a man who takes his role of fatherhood as seriously as he should. In this age of cancel culture, even the name father is being threatened with legislation emerging in some places to rob that respectful title from men, which I think is ridiculous. The truth is that mothers and fathers parent differently and each fill very important roles in the lives of our children. I'm so grateful for my father who taught me very different things from my mother. And I'm immensely grateful 
for my husband, who has been a terrific father for our children and is able to do things in his parenting that I'm just not able to do. And children are really blessed when they have the privilege of having both. Now, I have a lot of friends who are single parents and who have done a beautiful job of raising incredible children. And I'm just in awe of their ability to play the roles of father and mother. And so I love that this movie actually illustrated how difficult and challenging it is to be a single parent. I thought it was strange that none of the grandparents offered to move near the single father to help him raise his little girl. If that situation happened to any of my sons, I have four of them, I would be there in a split second. The the script doesn't really give us any reasons why the grandparents, who seemed to be retired, weren't able to move closer to him. I don't want to judge, but again, if if I were in that situation, I would move earth to be able to be next to my son to help him because it's such an incredible challenge to be a single parent. But instead, in this movie, they pressure him to give up his good paying job and his friends and his community to move over where they are. So anyway, again, I just thought that that was odd. And I thought it was touching to see the different relationships that he had with his mother and his mother-in-law. And I never want to be that mother-in-law who doesn't support, you know, my kids and the grandkids and all of that kind of stuff. Anyway, surprisingly, some of the humor doesn't land in the movie. And what's interesting is the trailer makes you think it's going to be a comedy and it's really not. It's very much a drama. As I mentioned, the success of this movie really rests on Kevin Hart's shoulders. And again, I think he just knocked it out of the park. Let me give you some quick tips for parents. First of all, there are unmarried relationships that are implied and you see an unmarried couple in bed. There's some light profanity, but other than that, it really is a family friendly movie. And if you watch this movie together as a family, point out any single parents or widowers or widows that you know, and how your family might be able to be a blessing and a support to them. Some themes that are illustrated well in the movie are responsibility, parenting, fatherhood, of course, love, self-sacrifice and putting others first, especially when it comes to children, supporting others, believing in others, community support and family in all of its shapes and sizes. So with all of that being said, my movie review mom grade is an A minus. Let me give you a couple of recommendations for other movies that instantly popped into my head as I was watching this one. The first one was Father of the Bride that kind of shows the role of a dad and how unique that role is. Even though in this movie, Steve Martin, who plays the dad, is married. um, But I just thought to show the very beginning of parenting and then Towards the end, you know, when you've successfully raised a little girl. And then another movie I thought of was About a Boy, which is a very sweet movie. And Gifted, which is a movie about a single dad and how he has difficult choices to make with his gifted daughter. And then, of course, back in the 80s, who can forget Three Men and a Baby, which is such a cute comedy about three men trying to raise one little girl. All right. I hope you have a wonderful Father's Day. I hope you enjoy this movie if you see it. And again, thank you to all the dads out there who do so much to make our lives better. Have a wonderful Father's Day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now. 